All right, y'all, T51 Bailey here. And uh, what we're going to be doing today is polishing some aluminum wheels, some bullet holes I picked up. Um, yeah, I sold the wheels that was on my truck, so I found some bullet holes on deal. If you know me, I can't pass up a good set of bullet holes. So we're going to get them polished up for you, show you the process that I do. Um, usually turns out pretty good. So let's go ahead and get straight on to it. So first off, we're gonna go through some of the things you may need. You're gonna have a, some type of polisher here. This is from Harbor Freight. And uh, I'm gonna say that I'm not affiliated with any of these products in this video. Uh, you're gonna need some microfiber cloths. This is a Zephyr kit. This is used to cut the wheels, clean them up a little bit. After you use them, you can see they get dirty. So this is the three step process. And they come with the, different rouges i think they call them uh, and then finally you're gonna need some type of polish to seal them with after you get done i use white diamond i just like them again i'm not affiliated with any of these products i just really like them like using them bought them full price no discount so y'all check them out so after you get your uh polish you're ready you're going to take your rake here without a microfiber on it. Take your rake here. Just rake it up a little bit. And take your, uh, take your bar here. Get it good and load it up. And you're just going to start off going to town on them. may have to reload up on your rouge here. After you do that, you're going to take a microfiber, just wipe it down good.
So you're gonna do that after pretty much every every different step. And uh, I'm not gonna record all of them. I'll just come back after I finish with the third wheel. That way you can see the difference. So I went ahead and this wheel right here, I went ahead and just did all three of them. And then this is still just one. So you can see after one, they've got a pretty decent little finish, but after three, and it's hard to tell. After three, it's like a mirror finish. Now these wheels got some scuffs on them and stuff like that, but I really don't care. They're gonna look a lot better than what I've been riding on. So, yep. I'm getting them finished up. We'll see y'all when they're ready for the polish. So here's a reference. I can't tell if you could see it from where you were sitting at before, but this is after one wheel. And that's how they were to start with. So you can already tell a pretty big difference. We're going to go ahead and knock them out and then get back with you. All right, so now we got every wheel completely done with all three uh, buffs from Zephyr. So uh, I'm about to show you how to put some polish on. So for starters, you're gonna take your polish, whatever it is, shake it up good. And you wanna start off with a clean microfiber as well. Put it a little bit on the rag. And wipe it on. Don't really matter how you do it, it's all gotta be covered, so. And I personally don't worry about the outside look, just because that's me. So you'll see how dirty this already is just from wiping on the polish. So what we're gonna do is take it off with a clean side. That's pretty much the goal to get all the break dust and dirt up there every time that you pull off, grab a new side. Now you go and go through some microfibers on this, but they're pretty cheap, so. The ultimate goal is to be able to wipe the surface until there's no more black going on your rag. So the outside rim is barely putting any out now, so I'd say that's good. Now we gotta get the face of it. And you'll see that other one, one little white.
So that's pretty much it. All right, guys. So I'm uh, on my way now out to my granddad's shop to uh, put these wheels and tires on. I, uh, if you notice in the video, at one point I kind of just sat there for a second. It was really like five minutes, but it was time lapse. I broke one of the freaking valve stems when I was using the polisher, so uh, be careful of that when you're doing it because uh, you don't want to have to do what I'm about to do, breaking the bead off if you ain't got a tire machine to break the bead, you know? So, uh, yeah, as long as I can get the um, valve stem in there today, and these will be on my truck today. And uh, I guess you'll find out by the end of the video if that happens or if it does not happen. Uh, I've replaced tire stems before, valve stems before, but I um, can't remember exactly how I did it. But I guess we're going to find out. Because all the, all the videos on YouTube now are smaller tires. Ain't, no, ain't nobody doing them with 35s, you know. They might say, yeah, you just use a tire iron and you pop the bead off. Not with these jokers, you don't. <laughs> It ain't, it ain't just gonna pop right off. So, uh, y'all keep on watching and we gonna see what we can do. All right, y'all. It's now about seven o'clock. And uh, we finally was able to get the tires on here. Uh, I don't think I can swap it around. So, yeah, I, I fought that dang beat for a while trying to get it figured out how to do it by myself without a tire machine or nothing like that so down here in the south we use what we got and I use what I had and I got her done so that's all that needs to be said there but uh about to show y'all what she looks like right now there she is for those of you that have been following I've had these same exact wheels before on some 315 70-17s so uh Pretty much these are the same wheels I had. 17 by nine, I believe, bullet holes. But these are on, whoa, what happened? These are on uh, 35, 1250s. So they are actually 35s. Um, recap my lift, I've got six inches total in the front and three inches total in the back. Uh, next part is gonna be a paint job. I gotta get some center caps for them before wheels. They stick out just a tad. Got my fake taxi, you know. But yeah, I see, uh, she getting there. They're gonna get a paint job on her soon, hopefully. If uh, this economy can pick back up. So y'all subscribe, like, leave a comment, turn the bell on, do what you do. Follow me on Instagram, cat underscore Bailey. Until next time.